In this video, we will cover six common WordPress login issues and their solutions. Number one, lost or forgotten password. If you've lost or forgotten your password, first try using the built-in recovery feature. If for some reason you can't use this method, there's another trick we can try. Your next best option is to update your password directly in the WordPress database. Oh, and be sure to create a backup first before doing this or any of the solutions in today's video. Once you've done that, launch phpMyAdmin, locate your site's database, and open up the WP Users table. In the list of users, locate your username and select Edit next to that row. Find the User Pass field and type a new plain text password into the value field, replacing the existing symbols and characters. From the drop down menu, select MD5, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click Go. At this point, you should be able to log in using the new password you just assigned. Number two, cache and cookies. WordPress requires the use of cookies during the login process. If cookies are not enabled, WordPress login can occur. The browser cache refers to the temporary files stored on your web browser when you access a web page. If your cache is not updating properly, you may be viewing older versions of some of the files that support WordPress. Luckily, both of these issues are easily fixed. First, check that cookies are enabled and then clear both your browser cache and cookies. Number three, plugin interference. It's possible for a plugin to interfere with the login process. The first thing to do is to confirm that the issue is being caused by a plugin. You can do this by deactivating all of your plugins by simply renaming the plugin folders. Once you have done that for each plugin, try logging in. If you're now able to log in, you've confirmed that a plugin is causing the issue. Now you want to go back through enabling each one by one and finding out which one is the culprit. Number four, theme issues. Theme issues can cause login problems, especially if your theme includes a custom login page. This issue is most likely to rear its head when a problematic theme update is installed or when the WordPress core is updated, producing a theme incompatibility. Determine if a theme is causing your login woes by reverting back to the default theme. To do this, rename your active themes directory so that WordPress doesn't recognize it. You can do this by accessing the WP content slash themes folder using an FTP client, finding the active themes folder and renaming it. This will force WordPress to revert to the default theme. Now try logging in to confirm that the issue is the theme. Number five, corrupted login file. If the WordPress login file, wp-login.php, is corrupted, deleted, or misplaced, you won't be able to access the login screen at all. To check if this is the problem, you'll need to replace the file with a new one. Access your site directory and delete wp-login.php. Now download the latest version of WordPress and then upload it in place of the original. If the login file was the issue, you should be good to go now. And finally, number six, redirected WordPress or site URL. Your WordPress URL and site URL being wrong can cause all sorts of issues. There is a simple trick to confirm that you do in fact have a URL issue on your hands. Access the wpconfig.php file and add the following code. And now simply change the URLs to match your website. By default, both addresses will be the same. However, if you've given WordPress its own directory, the WordPress address URL must include the directory in which you've installed WordPress. Save and upload the modified file to the server using your FTP client. If you can now successfully log in, then you've identified the problem. However, this is a temporary fix, so you should delete the added code and update the WP home and WP site URL values in your site's database using another method to correct the issue permanently. So there you go. Those are the six most common WordPress login issues and their solutions. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.